Hello everyone, this is Pablo with Crafties915 and today I'm going to show you how to disable the auto roll function on your GCC Expert 2 LX. Uh, the auto roll function is that function that feeds the vinyl you know, through and then retracts it and then it starts cutting and there's a lot of vinyl that is wasted uh, when the auto roll function is uh, enabled. So if you want to save some vinyl and if you want to disable that auto roll function, uh, I'll show you how to do it in just a bit. So stick around. Okay, so and let me show you why the auto roll function is frustrating uh, to use. If you're not using a full roll to work with, then the auto roll function is going to auto feed this entire sheet and then spit it out and you won't have anything to work with and you will damage your cutting strip you know every time that your cutting strip goes through this without any material on it it is going to uh, cut grooves onto it and so if you're not using a roll it can be frustrating and let me show you what happens Okay, so what I'm doing is, is I'm resetting the origin on this. Okay, so now it's ready to cut. When I take my image to get cut, I click on output. Then preview. And as soon as I click on output, this thing is going to feed the vinyl through. Now watch how this thing will just spit it out. Okay, so there's your vinyl. And it was going to start cutting without any vinyl on it. And so I just took my, my machine offline, stopped it. I'm going to press some data clear and then turn it back on. And that way it's not going to cut. Data clear. Forgot to, to press that. Okay. And so once you do that, your machine is not going to cut. You know, you saw that it started cutting again once I put it online, but that's because I didn't press the data clear uh, button uh, completely. But when you have the outer roll function, it is frustrating if you are working with sheets of individual vinyl and not with rolls. And even if you're working with a, a roll that doesn't have enough vinyl, what it's going to do, it's going to spit it out and then it's going to start cutting on nothing. There's not going to be anything on your cutting strip to cut. And so that's going to damage your cutting strip. Uh, it also will waste a lot of vinyl when you're working with rolls. Let me, let me show you how that happens once I start working with a roll. Okay, so I already fed a um, roll of vinyl through uh, my cutter. And I'm going to show you how that auto roll function works with a roll. We already saw how it works with a sheet. It practically spills or spits out the, the sheet. The way this works with a roll that it's going to feed the roll then retract then it'll start cutting. So I'm going to stop it, put it offline, data clear, bring it back online. I may have to do it again. Uh, no, I did press it correctly. So that happens if your roll is not long enough, if you don't have enough material on that roll, then what's going to happen is that again, it's going to spit out the whole thing 
sometimes what happens is that it retracts, but it doesn't retract all the way, okay? And so it leaves you with about 9 or 10 inches, uh, depending on, 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 uh, on how you feed the roll. And so it's very important that we take that outer roll function off. Um, it really is not useful for, you know, small projects. Uh, and so let me show you how to go ahead and, and take that off. Okay, and we're going to the computer and we're going to need two things. We're going to need to have your machine connected to your uh, uh, computer, to your laptop or computer. And then we have to download the VLCD3 file. If you don't have the file already on your system, you would have to go to gccworld.com and download it from there. If you have an older machine, you may have to uh, call GCC and request the older VLCD file. Uh, I have an older machine, so I had to do that. Um, but the, the file that is on gccworld.com is for the newer machines, for the current uh, machines. So uh, that's all you have to do. Just go download it, install it on your computer, and then uh, uh, run it. But let me show you um, how to uh, do that, how to download it and how to install it. But first, if you installed your software, you should have that VLCD file already in your system. And let me show you how to look for it. Again, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You, you can download it. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so we are going to go to this website called gccworld.com. Okay, and we go to the support site, to the download area, click on that. Then we scroll down to the vinyl cutter area. We choose the vinyl cutter that we are using. In this case, I'm using an Expert 2, not an Expert 2A. So this is the Expert 2. Okay, and in the download area, I'm going to have all the software that I can use. And on the last tab, which is other, we click there, and we have the cutter VLCD 3 for Windows, okay, or for Mac, you know, whatever you're using. Okay, I'm using Windows, so I use this one, and I click on download. Because I've already downloaded it, I can go now to my folder, where I downloaded the software, and I have it on my C drive under this folder. And you can save it wherever you want. I just saved it here. Okay, now there's a couple of versions for the VLCD uh, 3 file. Uh, there is a, a version 2.04-03, which is for the newer machines. Mine is an older machine, so mine is a version 2.03-1. So that's the one that I'm going to be using. And, uh, you know, like I said, if uh, you need to contact GCC Technical Support, they are very helpful, and they can, uh, you know, send you the right VLCD file depending on, on the age of your machine and depending on the machine that you're using. So I'm going to run this application the VLCD3 file, and it's gonna open up a new window. There's my Expert 2 24LX. Choose it, click Connect, and it's gonna give you all the parameters for your machine. If you look at the Auto Unroll or Auto Feed feature, it is enabled. All you need to do is disable that feature. Click on Update and you are set. You can close this, close that, and now your machine should not have that problem of uh, 
feeding the the vinyl you know through and then retracting and so that's it that's all you need to do to turn the auto unroll or auto feed uh, feature off of your GCC Expert 2 LX. Okay, so that was disabling the auto unroll function on your GCC Expert 2 LX. And so I hope you learned something. I hope that this helps you a lot. I know I had some uh, uh, subscribers and some users that were asking me, how do I avoid this, you know, the, the feeding of the, of the vinyl and I can't, you know, I'm using the mats, I'm using the sheets of uh, vinyl individually and I can't get it to cut. You know, I hope that this uh, auto unroll uh, feature being disabled helps you. And if you have any other questions, any other comments, uh, suggestions for other videos, please comment below. Uh, don't forget to join our community and click on the community tab and let us know what other machines you want to learn how to use. Um, I'm in the process of getting myself uh, some of those uh, Caesar machines, the Romeo and the Juliet. And so we're going to do some videos uh, with those. Uh, but please tell me if you, if you want to learn how to use a, a Cricut, you have a Cricut that you haven't figured out, let me know. I'll get one of those machines and, and we'll make some videos for you. Okay. In the meantime, Thank you very much. Keep hustling and happy crafting.